AI has dominated a lot of the business press, with seemingly every company going out of its way to mention AI at any earnings announcement or at its annual general meetings. For example, Apple made sure to announce that it would have AI coming soon, and Samsung has brought AI into its smartphones. Nvidia seemingly is riding high on the back of the AI boom. However, not everyone is convinced that AI is necessarily good either for society or for their businesses per se. Warren Buffett, for example, recently remarked about this at the shareholders meeting for Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett noted that AI is rather like a genie that has been let out of a bottle. It could have tremendous scope for good, but it could also cause significant harm. He specifically talked about the idea that AI, for example, could enable scammers to scam ever more money from unsuspecting consumers. Here's what Warren Buffett had to say about AI and its potential for both good and for bad. AI is profound. It makes it a genie. Uh, in terms of our businesses, they'll figure things out. I mean, we've got smart people. And it, it's obviously, if it's used in a pro-social way, it's got terrific benefits to society. But I don't know how you make sure that that's what happens any more than I know how to be sure that when you use two, two atomic bombs in World War II that you know that you hadn't created something that could destroy the world later on. When you think of the potential for scamming people, if you can reproduce images that I can't even tell that say I need money, you know, I'm, you know it's your daughter, I've just had a, had a uh, car crash. I need $50,000 wired. I mean, scamming has always been part of the American scene. But this would make me, if I was interested in investing in scamming, it's going to be the growth industry of all time. And it's enabled in a way. I, now, maybe, you know, obviously AI has potential for good things too. It has enormous potential for good and enormous potential for harm. And I just don't know how that plays out. So there we go. Warren Buffett seems to be somewhat convinced that AI could improve efficiency, but also suggesting that maybe there's some room for negativity. This is also consistent with what Charlie Munger had said, where Charlie Munger had also noted there's a lot of hype and speculation within AI, albeit he noted this quite some time ago. Charlie Munger, of course, having passed away relatively recently. I think artificial intelligence is very important, but there's also a lot of crazy hype on the subject. Artificial intelligence is not going to cure cancer. It's not going to do everything that we want done. And there's a lot of nonsense in it, too. So I, re I regard it as a mixed blessing, all this artificial intelligence. Some people have used it in some things, like insurance underwriting, pretty well. But a lot of people try and use it in... Ordinary things like buying office buildings or something, and I think that's way more, pro I don't think it's going to help anybody buy an office building. Not very much anyway. So in terms of Charlie Munger's remarks, he's noting that AI could potentially be transformative, but also there's a lot of hype, speculation and froth in the AI space, meaning you get a lot of stocks or companies that might be trying to piggyback on this hype. And potentially there isn't really any genuine substance under the AI that they are supposedly doing and we'll need to scratch beneath the surface to look out whether the AI has real value. So to give you a concrete example, if the company is simply repackaging ChatGPT and perhaps using an API AI to access ChatGPT, then maybe that company doesn't really have that much AI value. However, if the company has created its own bespoke AI that is actually creating real value, then that company itself might be valuable. A lot of it depends on exactly what the company is doing with AI how it is using it, and how the intellectual property sits underlying that company. Which is much like anything else, really. I.e., if you're just manufacturing generic medication, you have less value than the company that's actually coming up with the IP. Now, to this end, Greg Abel had also noted about AI at the shareholders meeting. He talked about the idea that AI could improve efficiency at many organizations. It could make things more streamlined. It could perhaps give SCARF more scope to do other things, or potentially give companies scope to downsize their staff numbers as efficiency improves. He noted that perhaps laborious tasks, time-consuming tasks, could be significantly streamlined. 
Here's what Greg Abel had to say. When we think of AI at a lot of the business units, I mean, we're truly worn trying to think, uh, how does it make us more efficient, more effective? I mean, it, it results in more idle time, and we're probably not thinking of the iter iterative I AI where um, we're looking at very specific processes where our people can implement it and either, at times it displaces the labor, but then hopefully there's other opportunities for them within the, within the business. But I think, you know, when you think of all our businesses, I mean, we're, we're, we do have a heavy labor workforce in a lot of them, but I think we, at the stage we're at as a, as a company and, and maybe where it's at right now, it's really around how do we do things more effective, more efficiently, um, more safely if it involves dangerous processes. So it's, we're, we're early innings. <laughs> so when we put together all of what Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger and Greg Abel are saying, we can see positives and some concerns in relation to AI. The positives clearly coming in the form of increased efficiency. However, the concerns coming in the form of hype and speculation that might mislead investors if they don't truly investigate what AI is doing, and also in the form of potentially enabling scammers and also enabling other nefarious purposes. Now, in terms of how I'm looking at AI personally, I'm looking at it on a case-by-case -case basis. So I've, for example, personally invested in a couple of AI startups. One of them is in the regulation technology sector, where they're using AI to improve financial services compliance and using AI to help those firms meet their obligations, potentially in relation to things like AML and CTF, or also in relation to just improving their prudential management. And the company BlueJay AI has developed its own bespoke AI and has some strong customers. I'd also invested in Elixir, which is a much more nascent startup that have been looking at things such as using AI to improve the efficacy of cancer screening. So AI has some clear uses, especially when you've got bespoke AI either being used for pattern recognition or for image recognition and that type of thing. However, like I've indicated, there are many other companies that I see coming across my desk when I'm looking at startups that are simply repackaging ChatGPT. And if they're repackaging ChatGPT, then you end up with a couple of problems. First, exactly what intellectual property, if any, are you paying for? And then secondly, what happens if the price or cost of ChatGPT goes up? What happens if API access gets more expensive or simply not enabled anymore? What happens if ChatGPT is bought out and then potentially decide to shut off access to ChatGPT? You've got a whole lot of problems here. And also how easily or quickly could they transition to a different AI provider? You have issues when the AI is not bespoke. So in our rush for AI, we need to look at exactly how it's being implemented and what is being done. The only other thing I would note is AI is only as good as the people who have created it. So for example, we saw this with Google and their trash fire of the AI that they rolled out, which was simply not ready for prime time. It came out and it was clearly very biased in terms of the types of answers and types of images that it would generate. So much so that Google shut down the image generation in its AI. But let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below.